Throughout the 20th and 21st century, archery has been a popular international pastime as well as a highly competitive sport. Over the years, the technology and people have changed, as well as the organizations involved. From that 1779 area when the international, when the Philadelphia Bowmen got together, uh, that organization progressed and was our leader throughout history and still is. And in in the 1900, actually, archery was in the Olympics, and uh, so it was a, an Olympic sport. But because there was so much argument and so much disarray from one country to another as far as their rules and how they shot and so forth, the Olympics decided, hey, if you guys can't come up with a decent format, uh, we don't need you in our sport. And so Olympics was dropped. Then it did not come back until 1972, the Olympics. And uh, at the time, 1972, that was pretty much an American, American dominated the whole sport. And the uh, rest of other country was, um, I don't think they really so advanced up to that level as well. And the U.S. has a, a, a phenomenal athlete named uh, Daryl Pace. And that's how he won. The, his first, uh, I think he's won his first national about that 74, 75, that period of time that he entered the Olympic game, he won the gold medal 76. In 1980, uh, Olympic game was in Moscow, but the U.S. boycotted it, so nobody went there. If he had gone there, he would probably take the goal as well. Then the 1984, in Los Angeles, he took another goal. The first, but second place distance from him is over 100 points. Oh, wow. That's so good he was. He was so good, he was far, far superior to anybody else. Uh, but prior to Rip McKinney and Darrell Pace was uh, John Williams. But John Williams was also one of these um, a freakly good archers. Uh, okay. The second place, it's so quite a distance from him. And uh, he took the, uh, I think 1972, he took the goal. Okay. So you got a John Williams, a Daryl Pace. He accompanied us through our development as in mankind from early, early beginning of evolution. Uh, as we as we progressed and as our minds grew, uh, the equipment flourished and changed also. Uh, at first, the bow I am. I assume was just a, a stick and had a vine or something attached to the ends of it so that it could be drawn back and store energy and that's what a bow really does. When you have a bow you have something that you hold here and as you pull this, this string back that energy that I'm applying to this bow is being stored in this working limb. And that's the principle for anything and every bowl that's ever been made to this day. So talk a little bit about how the materials and design of bows have changed over the last 50 years. Well, now you can customize them. Started, they're a one-piece bow, and what you bought, if it was 35 or 40 pounds, that's what you shot. Now we can change limbs. They're more consistent, made out of man-made materials. They're water, waterproof. Heat proof, you can shoot them from one day to the next in different weather and they shoot the same. Very consistent. So your typical high-end bow today, what materials are involved? Well, they're foam in the, on the inside, carbon outside, and uh... How about your riser? What are the riser options? Well, riser, you have uh, magnesium, aluminum, uh, my my preference is uh, machine. Um, some people like carbon risers. So what are the goals of the JOAD program? Well, we want to provide a competitive learning environment to take young archers skills to the next level um, to pro provide a, 
an organized pathway to competition and um, success in the sport of archery. Okay, what age students can be involved in the JOAD program? Um, we start as young as eight years old and as old as 20. And what does the program offer these archers? What experiences do they get from the program? Well, they can attain personal goals that they set for themselves. They can be um, directed in the right path for ultimately the top level of archery competition, the Olympics. So in your experience, has archery been trending up in popularity over the last few years? Absolutely. Um, it's, it's regained uh, momentum in the last couple of years. A lot of people say it's because of the, the, um, some of the, the movies that have been out, but I believe it's just, it's just such a great family sport. Um, and people are starting to discover that it is a lifelong sport. I like archery because I like seeing the arrows fly through the air and slam into the target.